G'day guys, we've got an applications of calculus question here today where we've got a diagram that I've just drawn which shows a person of height of 1.8 meters walking towards a lamppost here at 1.4 meters per second. All right, so let's just quickly draw that in. Um, so he's going this direction at 1.4 meters per second. Cool. Now, Lamp post is six meters above the ground. At what rate is the length of the person's shadow changing? Okay, well, for this, what we're going to do is we're going to use similar triangles. So if I just make this diagram a little bit easier to see, the similar triangles are gonna be, if I draw a red line down here and a red line down here, I know that this line here is 1.8 meters and I know that this line here is six meters. So at what rate is the length of the person's shadow changing? All right, so the shadow cast by this guy who's walking towards the lamppost is going to be from where he is to the end of the big triangle. And let's denote that, I guess, S, so for shadow. And I'm also going to call the distance between the uh, guy who's walking and the lamppost, I'm going to denote that x. So this distance here, I'm going to denote x. Cool. So what we've got to find, at what rate is the length of the person's shadow changing? So if it's a rate, this is going to be in terms of time. So what they're asking for... What the question is asking for is they're looking for the change in the length of the shadow with regards to the change in time. So that's what we're after. So let's see what we're given. We have this rate here, which is in meters per second. We have 1.4. So this is the actual change in x over the change in time. So, and because this is going towards the lamppost, x is going to be getting smaller, so this is going to be a negative 1.4. So what we've been given, the information we've been given, is we've been given dx, dt, which is equal to negative 1.4, or what's that going to be, 14 over 10, which is 7 over 5. Okay, so let's just keep it as 1.4 metres per second to the negative 1. Cool. So, now what our related rates will tell us is the way that we're going to be able to express the change in the shadow with respect to the change in time is if we express it as the product of two other what they call related rates. So ds dt is going to be equal to dx dt multiplied by ds dx. So you can see that the x's would cancel out and would have ds dt just here. So we have been given this one. What we need to find is we need to find a relationship between the shadow and x. And this is where the similar triangles come in. So, similar triangles tells us that the, if we've got two triangles which are similar, the ratios of their sides will be the same. So what we mean by that is this smaller triangle, which is a right angle here, is going to be similar to the larger triangle, which includes the lamppost. And so the ratio of the shadow with respect to the person's height is going to be the same as the shadow plus the distance to the lamppost. So over the height of the lamppost. Cool. So what we're going to do here 
is we're going to try and use algebra to make this a relationship s in terms of x. So first of all, I'm going to move the 6 over to this side. So I'm going to have... I'm then going to simplify this. We can times both of them by 10, 60 over 18, which would be 30 over 9, which would be 10 over 3. I'm going to take S from both sides. So I'm going to have, I'll, I'll move it up here, hang on. 10S on 3 minus S on 3, which expressed in thirds, is 3S on 3 is equal to X. So that's going to be 7S on 3 is equal to X. But we want X s in terms of x, not x in terms of s. So, what we need to do is we just need to move the 3 and the 7 to the other side. I'm going to multiply by 3 and divide by 7. So I'm going to have s is equal to... Cool. And what we can get from that... is that then, because this is a linear equation, the derivative of s with respect to x is going to be a constant, which is going to be equal to 3 over 7. Now, we have all the information that we need to get this final derivative, which is what the question is asking. So what we can do, it's down the bottom here, let's write it all out. We have ds in terms of t, is equal to dx in terms of t multiplied by ds in terms of dx. Now this one is given negative 1.4 multiplied by 3 over 7. Now if you put that into your calculator you're going to get 0 0.6 Negative 0 0.6. So, finally, you can write the shadow is decreasing in length at a rate of 60 centimeters per second, full stop. Okay, so let's just quickly go through what we had to do in this problem. First of all, we had to identify what the related rates relationship was going to be. So first we had to figure out what they were asking for. Then we had to work out what we were given, and so we would then we can deduce what we need to find. In this particular question, we needed to identify that we could use the relationships of similar triangles to get a, a common ratios between the sides of the triangles, and as a result, then relate the change in this to the change in this. Once we've found the relationship between the side lengths and how they change, we then compute the derivative enter it into our related rates relationship and just hit it into our calculator to hit solve. And once you've done that, it's always good to interpret what the um, number is that you've spat out. And in this case, the shadow is decreasing in length at a rate of 60 centimeters per second. So sorry about my handwriting there. Uh, it's been a long day. But um, yeah, I hope this question helped, guys. Or hope this will hope this answer helped you with this question. Um, if it did, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. I put out answers all the time. And if you have any problems, you can always message them to me. But until next time, guys, enjoy your maths.